Let's take a look at the major indices using technical analysis. Let's kick off with the FTSE 100. We've traded this sideways range 7100, 7400 into this Brexit scenario. We've got an outcome now. Upside target from that breakout 77, it's which is where we are. It looks like the bulls are breathing at this space. Very interestingly on the fundamentals, the market has underperformed in 2019 and lots of fundamental guys would say this market is cheap. But again, we've got this old resistance from the August highs. OK, I think this is resting and would probably rally in January. Let's move on to the DAX. Um, Obviously, we, on a political, we've got a situation, we've got a risk of the current coalition breaking down. We've got talks of recession. We've got problems in the motor industry. But the charts are cracker. We've got resistance at this area. This looks like an ascending triangle. Again, a break to the, of these levels. You've probably got another 1,000 points of upside. So again, trading well above the longer term moving averages. This is a good looking chart. Let's move on to the Nikkei 225. Um, we saw the stimulus package at the beginning of the month, $240 billion um, in December. We've got lots of gaps on the chart, but again, you know, we've had this moving average. Look how these longer term moving averages gave you a clue that this was going to rally from October. Lots of gaps to the upside here, okay, sign of strength from the boards, okay. A very nice looking chart. Let's move on to the Hang Seng Index. Um, we've obviously talked in the headlines, the political headlines of the problems, but th again, this market has underperformed. We've got resistance at the, this area here. You'll see the blue line, the longer term moving averages with gaps into this area. Again, you can see the, a potential ascending triangle, which would be a bullish formation on a break of this sort of double top area. So really key resistance in play. Let's move on to the Dow Jones. If you saw my video in the summer, I highlighted a point and figure chart that had an upside of circa 40,000, and that's still in play. Look how that blue line held basically the market. You had three opportunities to basically buy the dip this year, okay? So that key 50 day moving average, okay, and 200 day, again, holding the market up. Um, it's a great chart, we like it. Onward and upwards. Let's move on to the SPX, the S&P 500. Mr. Trump's likely to be re-elected unless the economy takes an unexpected dive. Um, this has got to be good news for this chart. There's lots of people suggesting that this market is toppy. We're in the ninth innings and everything. But while we've got that point and figure chart suggesting 40,000 on the Dow, okay, the S&P onward and upward for me. And that's my lot. Thank you.